Welcome to uh, Classic Car Cave. Uh, first thing I want to do is make an apology for the uh, filming and the editing on the last video I put up, the one for the Loops Go Fund page. Um, unfortunately, I made some mistakes in it and I mentioned the person's name, so I had to cut it out and it was a bit, it wasn't very good, I have to say. But I really, really want to thank everybody who's donated. It's, it's nearly um, half that floor pan's already in, in the fund, which is brilliant. But the, the biggest thank you I'd like to say is to uh, Tony Aylott, who has Friday night, garage night. Um, you should look in on his channel. His work is really, really excellent. He, he did a mini pickup and a mini van, and he's doing a Mark One Escort RS. But his work, his standard of work is, is spot on. I mean, really, really good. Painting as well as fabrication. I think the pickup, the only thing that was left, I think, was the, the roof, uh, the four roof A and B pillars. I think that was it. I think he put a roof on it. Amazing job. Anyway, he's been so kind to say that if, if uh, we get all the parts and all the bits and pieces, he would actually uh, uh, repair the car. He says he's retired now and he wouldn't mind doing it. I think it's amazing that somebody is prepared to do that from the mini world because it's a lot of work um, and all the guys if it we obviously have to wait now and find out what a independent assessor says about the vehicle whether it's just you know steps and bits of heel board whatever sorry about that um, and um, and go from there but I, I think in my opinion I would, I would say this is probably the better way to do it it will be a, a, a first class repair then because the doorsteps are fairly bad. Unfortunately, this car wasn't great. It needed a restoration, but it needed a proper restoration. Um, and as predicted, I thought I'd get quite a few people um, giving thumbs down or whatever. But the majority of people, I think, understood that I was trying to um, put a message out there that, you know, be careful. Um, you know, because it, it can, it, you know, you can end up having a car that's a danger on the road but you know it is what it is um, so um, this is just a bit of a mix and match uh, some bits and pieces that I've had and uh, I just thought I'd stick a, uh, another video up showing you where we are with things on the X, on the uh, XK150 and uh, there's a few other bits and pieces in so I hope you enjoy it and again thank you so much for your donations and, and, you, and your kind words and for the people that uh, feel uh, negatively about it maybe take a thought for for Luke whose car is in such a in such a state that he, he can't he can't even drive it to have it checked he's going to have to trailer it that tells you everything you need to know anyway take care and uh i hope you enjoy the video so welcome to classic car cave mia's back the man and ref goes behind me but she doesn't want to be on camera i'll give you a quick flash <laughs> ah, there you go sorry about that uh yeah she's uh well, we've kind of volunteered her into making a family project in the scraping department. So, but it's really, it's really coming on. It's, it's a, just a shame that we all have to be done all over again. But yeah, it is what it is. We have some inside as well, but we'll wait until we got this bit done, and then we'll turn it over and pull it out. And uh, and very nicely, I went down this morning and got some the new stuff, the stuff that's all good, the grey. And uh, I, he only had three tubes, and, and I told the guy the story, another guy, uh, not the first bloke I talked to who uh, made a claim, and he just said I'd take them. It was like 60, 60 odd euro, and he said, no, you can have them free, which I thought was pretty decent. Yeah. I mean, he knows I buy stuff there anyway, but I mean, that's not the point. So the reason it's propped up like this might look a bit, um, I don't know, uh, uh, looks like pit props or something, is because obviously we'd have to take these back legs off because it was really sticky. In fact, the one on the other side, this one on the other side, was actually stuck. We had to pull it off because it was jammed onto the, onto the uh, sealant. So, yeah, we'll get it done. And these bits were a little bit easier to do because they got the nice lines against the chisel, but, you know, where it's leaded, that was where the, that's where the main problem is, is because the chisel dig into the lead. But anyway... Yeah, it's one of them things. I I asked the the guys, Samir. I said I said uh, you know I really want to do like ten minutes, fifteen minutes, and then pack it in. Yeah. And I said, and the guy said, oh, we'll volunteer, but you know. <laughs> I said, yeah, right. That was decent. Nice. 
They, they probably would have done if maybe it hadn't been COVID, we could have done it. But anyway, it's, with both of them on the job, it's really getting there. Okay, and I've started to finish up this one. I've just, just done the little uh, bead welds on it. What I'll do is uh, do this side, and then I'm going to put the sheets on the other side as well. So the idea is this slides over the top, and over the weekend, we'll paint them inside where they're not going to be welded, the frames and this. Um, and then I'll work out some, I don't know, maybe we just weld it on. I don't know. Because the, the whole point of this is is that, that this bar should look like it's the drop side on it. So maybe I think we just weld it. Right? So we'll, we'll paint the inside and then we'll paint the outside once it's been welded. It's only the bits where it could go rusty. So we'll clean them off. And then, um, yeah, so we'll do the inside of it. Uh, get it all cleaned up and then and then see how it goes. And I'll start stripping them this down. And, and uh, hopefully we don't damage it getting it apart. It would be nice to keep. Um, even if it's only as a memento. So there you go. This is our local pheasant. He sits in our garden every day, comes down every morning. Not really good focus on the There you go. Is he moving? Yeah. He's going off. Is he going to go if I move? Sorry, oh, he must live up the back there somewhere, he's always around. If you've watched him before, you may have seen me making up this uh, barbecue. We gave the old barbecue to Mia and Refka and they've taken it down to Bosnia. So, what I'm going to do now is just get this fire started up. We normally just use it as a fire pit here on our balcony. The front veranda, we've got a back one as well. And then across the pool over there. You can see where it's related to the house. This is a dead end, this street. Uh, there's a farm at the end. But this is uh, our land on the other side here where the pool is. So yeah, I'm going to get this started. And as I said, I made this situation here. So I'll, once it's hot enough, I'll put some barbecue coal on it. And all I've got to do then is bring it across. I went until it dies down a bit. So I'll give you another look once I've got the coals on it and hopefully they can glow nice red hot. Put some nice big steaks on it and give it a whirl. So the steaks are on. Let's see how we go. A bit too many flames. Just pull this out the way. Good. This is the second side on there. You can see where I've just uh, welded it along the edge. Just tight welded it basically. Um, and you can see there, uh, this is when it's, what it's like when it's cleaned off on both sides, it's a nice edge. A couple of little bits here and there, but what we'll do is we'll uh, cork it, uh, probably from the inside. Um, there's no point going over the top, it doesn't need filler and stuff, it's strong enough. But if I take that grinder off there, I'll show you. Um, you can see if I lift this up now. The whole thing comes off so and the other side I cleaned this morning it's a few bits of tidy up but it's welded all the way along it's solid enough so yeah um, get the other one finished up tomorrow uh, obviously there'll be plate here on this side and on the other side and I'm thinking what I might do is, is just weld this directly onto it is tack it every centimeter or so it's pushed up at the moment. Yeah, take it every centimetre or so and then just cork the edge, um, you know, because it, if I weld that all the way along, it's just more and more and more weight and I want to try and keep that weight down. Um, and the nice thing about the corking is you can actually rub it down before we paint it. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. That one's really finished. And then, as I say, take this apart as best as best we can uh, without damaging it too much the carcass of it and then we'll lay before we paint this these two sides the front or whatever we're doing we'll lay it out onto the floor of the, this toylander and see where we are with it um, and whether it needs to be extended or shortened or whatever um, before we actually go ahead and put waste paint on it 
and uh, we'll go from there. So that's it all caught back up again with the new stuff. Uh, tomorrow I have to do these two sides here and there, but that's going to be cleaned up. The rest of it's great. I mean, there's no problem with it at all. It's just it was just those edges. Anyway, it's all it's all cooked back up again now, and then we can uh, repaint it, turn it over, get the other stuff out, recork that, and that will give us at least the bottom end sorted, and then we can start moving towards the front doors, wings, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good. The humidity must be very good in here because that's that's been bare like that now for. Uh, two and a bit weeks So must be pretty good in here Yeah And then we can move forward hopefully Oh, that's still such a lot to do that front end has got so much rust on it that it needs cleaned off It's gonna take a long time Anyway uh, Onwards and upwards So that's the I need to put that uh, um, stone chip on it now actually looks much much better and it's rock hard when you put it on so so now tomorrow he'll do that bit on the inside of the tunnel there and then we can put these bars back on and turn it over the other way um, yeah looking good just doing some work on the, on the rear quarter wings that looks really nice. It's actually this has gone it, it's so much better, isn't it? Oh, big, difference. big difference in the in the quality of it. When you put it on, it's coming out of the tube. You can see. Maybe it was because it was silicon based the other one or something. I don't know. Uh, you know what they say about silicon and paint? It could be that, but it's come out really nice and it's dried. It's pretty much touch, uh, touch dry now, but tomorrow it'll be perfect. And then that's the two sides of the. Might have done. Uh, I've got a bit of mess around with them a little bit, but you can see that's both sides of them. They look pretty right. So tomorrow I'm going to take this apart and we'll fit it up and see what works and what doesn't work and, and work around that before we think about painting them. So on that note, stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby. I'll catch you in the next one.